Colleges are resuming very, very soon. Yeah. It can be a very pricey time for both parents and for students. What is the general cost for someone heading to college at the moment? Well, I suppose it depends on the, on the child and where they're going and how close they are going to be to the family home when they go. But TU Dublin has a kind of rough breakdown of the figures for people. So they have put it at just under four, 500 euros a month. For the, for, for, and oh, that right. covers things like food. It covers things like mobile phones, transport, recreation. And broken down, interestingly, the highest spend is food. And I think it's around 190 euros a month. Mm. And then uh, entertainment is around 75 a month. I thought that would have been higher. Well, it seems on the low side, side to me. Drinking, socialising. But maybe they're going to the student clubs and drinking yeah. Yeah, cheap beer or whatever. Rent? No, now rent we can talk about in a second because okay, rent is sorry. an entirely different okay, ballgame. I was thinking um, that, yeah. And then there's an additional... 3,000 euros which, which people have to pay for their registration. Okay. The, the, now, the, the government, donkeys years ago, before you, people were even born. Oh, we are so young. <laughs> they scrapped <laughs> student fees, right? And then they reintroduced them in the kind of sneaky ways. They were called registration fees. So they weren't paying for college, but you were paying a registration fee, which is three grand a year, making it the highest in the European Union, which is mm. terrible news for parents and for, kid, and for students. And then the other costs are obviously things like transport, and then you have rent, which is, we can talk about a second. That's a separate, yeah, absolutely. Um, there are there, there are there are grants available to some students, isn't there? The, the SUSE grant, how does that work? Yeah, no, the, the, the SUSE grant, so far, I think this year, around 71,000 students have applied for the grant. It is means tested, so the parents' income is means tested, and based on certain thresholds, then you can, you, you, you can get a, either a full grant or a partial grant to go to college. Um, and then if you have two kids going to college, well, then the, mean, the, the income threshold is adjusted. So the idea is that it will open up college to to people who can't afford it. Because for too many years in this country, the only people who could access third level education were people who, who, whose parents were on higher incomes. You could afford and that it. simply isn't right. Because of, of course. course that creates this kind of poverty cycle. Yeah. So the idea behind the Susie Grant scheme is to allow open access to universities. It's not perfect, but it does mean that people whose parents are, are, are below a certain income threshold, and it does depend on how many children are there, and also where, where your child is going to be going to college, you know, people, there are grants available. So for for this time of year, is it too late now for students no, going back to apply for that? No, not no. at all. I mean, the, the 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 deadline isn't until very close to the to the time that students register. So, and of course, students will be registering a little bit later, particularly in first year of in college, because the leaving cert results are out later than normal. We mentioned at the start, it is an expensive time for students and parents. I hate saying this word budget, but is there anything students? Why do, do you never budget? <laughs> Not really. I have an author. He does all that. Yeah. And these students can do, and I don't want this to be in an offensively or in a shady way, that they can do to budget to make the process easier to manage. Well, I suppose the first thing that I would encourage any student to, to do is to learn to cook, right? Because if you can cook, there's two reasons why it's amazing. If you can cook, yeah. you save money. Stop looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> but it's also Toast. a great draw. <laughs> for people who might be, you might be interested in romantically. Oh, Because like, who doesn't love somebody who can cook? Mm -hmm. Then so, he looked at you for that, isn't that odd? <laughs> well, I, I can't really cook either. I looked so. at both of you. <laughs> so the idea is, so like, but if you can cook, right, you're not buying processed food, you're not buying takeaway food. So not only are you eating healthier, but it's, it, you're saving money mm -hmm. and you're the most popular person in your peer group because you're the one who can cook. Um, Cutting down on transport costs is important. That you that there's, there's a 50% discount for for people who are on leap cards. If if you've got, if you're student age between 19 and 23, it's very important that you mm -hmm. get that. Another thing I'd really encourage people to do, and this is really old school. And some people go look at me, go no, and you might even be one of these people who look at me. Say. Cycle. Yes. I can't understand why more younger on people the don't cycle. Buy a bike. Yeah, listen. I was like, bikes are expensive. But you know, you don't have to buy it. You can buy a I cheap agree. second hand, yes. hand bike. Yeah. And the cost of cycling is zero. Compared to the cost of like using public transport or taxis, like, when healthier, I was a kid, you know your heart rate, all of that. Exactly. When I was a kid, nobody I knew had a car. Nobody in college had a car. Everyone uh, cycled. cycled or walked in the lash and rain. So I grew up in Galway, yeah. where of course it's very wet. So people just walked yeah, around yeah. in the lash and rain all the time. But I think that's another thing. The other thing to do is and. Yeah, join uh, all the societies and clubs as you can because they have these free events. Okay. And you're, the idea as a student is you're basically yeah. legging. You're, you want to live on less. So you go to all the free events that you can possibly do. And then, and then you, you, know, you have to kind of take care of it when it comes to your entertainment because, you know, you, know, you can spend a lot of money and get the cheapest mobile phone deal uh, on the market, which you can do with it. You can easily spend a tenner a month on a mobile phone if you're, if you're canny. No. I'm not canny. No, me neither. <laughs> At all. Anyway, I was like, I need you in my life for all aspects I would have really of my... struggled being a student. I would, I would have been like, it's not for me. So, like you said, I, I said a little bit earlier about uh, rent being mm. obviously 
really, really difficult in the crisis that we're in yeah. at the minute, obviously. And there was a video on social media as well of students queuing oh, up for yeah. viewing a property in Dublin that, that sort of circulated recently. Um, there it is, there you can see now, all yeah. of I those mean, poor unfortunate kids. That's absolutely crazy. Yeah, it's insane. And do you know what? The problem isn't going to get any better because according to daft.ie, I think there's like some 777 houses for rent. Uh, in Dublin uh, in recent times. That's a tiny number. Uh, and when you think of all the students coming back... Now, renting accommodation for students has always been tricky. Because, mm -hmm. like, you know, you don't have a lot of money and there's, you know, landlords will tend to look down their nose at students and go, oh, I don't want students, party mm -hmm. house and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, too much hassle. But, but you know, the, the reality is that if you're going to rent... like the First is the student accommodation options, the on-campus accommodation. But that can cost between seven and €10,000 for a college year, which is only nine or ten months. So it's horrendously expensive. Now, one thing that the government has been pushing hard in recent weeks has been the rent-a-room scheme. Yes. yes. Now, now, families and now, the universities are asking for this as well. Exactly. Now, the, yeah. now, the, this is really attractive on two levels. And it's, like, it's not perfect by any means. For a start, if you have a, a spare room in your house and you rent it out, you can earn up to 14 grand before you pay any tax on it. Now that's it's a lot so that of money. effectively that is, money. is like earning twenty eight grand if yeah. you're paying full tax on it. Of course, it. Um, and that you can you can earn the fourteen grand even if you're on social welfare entitlements or if you're on an old age pension or whatever it might be. So it's basically free money because you're just renting out the room and that covers utilities and electricity. Now bear in mind that we're living through a cost of living crisis. So if you were to say to someone, here's fourteen thousand euros, that'll cover an awful lot of higher priced groceries or higher priced fuel. Um, it's also good for the students are, should I say, it's good for the parents of the students because it's nice to know yeah. that your kids are living in a house and yeah. safe with, with, with yeah. a responsible adult. adult. Now, I say this now because I'm much closer to being a parent of children who are going to college than I am to being a person who was going to college because when I was a kid, digs were a really popular thing and you'd always feel terribly sorry for the, for the, for the students in digs because you had old Mrs Brennan there watching out for you if you were coming home from a nightclub or whatever <laughs> it might be and that was never great. But the bottom line is that for the first couple of years of college, I think a lot of students should be looking at it a lot of parents should be looking at it. And a lot of people who have spare rooms in their houses should be looking at it. Because as I say, it's effectively free money. And I was going to say, I mean, living in Donegal, could somebody rent my room and commute to Dublin? <laughs> be a <laughs> long old commute. Grand. I think now it's an appropriate time to wrap up this conversation. <laughs> Connor Pope, thank you so much.